And welcome back, Askey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today's walkthrough is on getting extra honeycomb pieces in Gobi's Valley. I think one of these is pretty easy to get, kind of obvious, if you will, whereas the other one is a little bit more complicated. There's some steps you have to follow, and we'll be taking a look at that now. To begin, we are going to be visiting this pyramid building over here, and on the back end side of it, there's going to be a, a switch with an extra honeycomb piece on it. So there you go, we're going to switch that, and uh, there's your there's your easy one. So we're actually going to be uh, waiting to collect that one until after we uh, collect the other extra honeycomb piece. That's just kind of how the route worked out. You don't have to do it that way. But since Gobi is required for the other, other extra honeycomb piece, and he's right here, we're going to go ahead and release him from uh, his rock. And we're actually going to be doing something that we haven't done yet so far in the series and collect a jigsaw piece. That's actually required. In order to see Gobi pop up at his second location, you have to actually collect that jigsaw piece. I did not know that was a thing until I was messing around with this and testing. So there you go, we're both learning things. And we're actually going to move right on back over to the entrance of the level again. There we will find Gobi yet again, this time chilling, hydrating, doing camel things. And then we'll just ruin his day by doing a ground pound on his back and squeezing the water right out of him. Because that tree looks darn thirsty. And there's another jigsaw piece. Luckily this time we don't need to get that one. We'll just move right on and we will literally follow Gobi as he's trying to escape us. But there is no escape. There's nowhere to run. And here, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for a magic carpet to arrive. There he is. Target acquired. <laughs> I suppose we could have flown over there using a flight pad, but I think the nearest flight pad... Actually, I think the only flight pad in this level is on the Sphinx. I could be wrong about that. We're actually going to be using that here in a few seconds after we uh, get this extra honeycomb piece out of Gobi's stomach. Thank you, sir. Poor guy. He just wants to be left alone. And we won't be seeing him until the next game. Alrighty, so moving on. Um, we already revealed the other extra honeycomb piece. We just need to uh, find a flight pad for it. Which, like I said, is going to be on the back of the Sphinx. So we're going to wait for the magic carpet again. And sail on over here. Like we are characters out of a Disney movie. What's up, Boots? How you doing? So, sad story. With uh, this last honeycomb piece here, we're actually going to be getting our last extra hit point in our series. There are still six more extra honeycomb pieces to get, but unfortunately when we collect those last six, we actually don't extend our health anymore. You'll actually kind of see here when I collect this one in this very interesting shaped cactus here. You'll kind of see how uh, my life bar actually fills up the entire... See how there's there's not really any more room for health, and that's actually the case there. When you get the last uh, set of honeycomb pieces, you're, it shows the animation, and it kind of looks like you're going to get an extra hit point, but nothing really happens. So uh, other than getting the double hit points at the end of the game from collecting almost all of the music notes, that's pretty much going to be it as far as extra health for us. But that's okay. We're kind of just... Trying to get 100% on this game, right? Anyway, though, that's going to do it for Gobi's Valley Extra Honeycomb Piece Guide on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Next up is going to be Mad Monster Mansion. Stay tuned. Look forward to it. And I will see you in the next video.